Hey yo, I flip it like Leatherface Sipping blood on a dark staircase Forever and a day and never hesitate Never done wicked as I come Axe rags tied and twisted Around the barrel of my Tommy guns I give a fuck when in to speak On anybody tripping on me Wolf and weak or bring What's up, Great Junkies? What's going on? Um, VC Cheers. Okay, we got a video to do. We're listening to Judas Priest, Hellbent for Leather. Just picked that up. One of the priests I didn't have on vinyl, so picked it up, filled up the collection a little bit. Um, found this. Pretty fucking cool. Frankie Baby there in the front. pretty cool it's a uh, latest hit songs kind of like a hit parade type thing from the 50s really cool really cool to look through just a really cool little magazine found that cheap probably like 10 cents actually paid probably for it what it goes for maybe it's 25 cents um it's been a while because I've been doing some things putting something huge together for record collectors and the VC. Um, I can't disclose any um, information because it's an idea thing. I kind of briefly talked about it on Facebook one time, but never really went into detail. Um, it's huge, okay? If it works, every record collector in the world will know about it. Every music collector will know about it. If it doesn't work, then whatever. It doesn't work. But I think it's going to work, and it's going to be really cool. Um, I just want to let you know that right now. And you guys will be the first ones to know and test it, okay? So you'll be the first ones to know about it, and you'll be the first ones to use it. And I'm also thinking of giving an exclusive, like, invitation to VC... YouTube VC members, okay? Exclusive only to ones who've been here for a while, who make videos on the daily. You guys, you know who you're talking, you know who I'm talking about. You guys will be the first ones to have it. You'll be the first ones to use it, and you'll be the first ones to know about it, okay? So that's right there, okay? A right on there. Um, it's not going to be for a little bit yet. It's in the workings. It's something really big, so it's going to take a while. I don't know if it's going to be a couple months, a year, I don't know, but it's working, and it's a really good idea, and it's going to be awesome, so can't really say much more about it, except for if you want to help, contact me, um, and we can talk, but uh, let's move on to the music, that's why we're here, uh, we got Hellbent for Leather playing, these, I'm just going to show you some, like, I wouldn't say mediocre, some of these are really good, some of these are really good. Um, but I haven't got around to bagging and tagging them yet and um, putting them away or anything. So I kind of just, I just got these last night. Nothing super special in this stack, but uh, I got some really good shit to show you later. So actually a grail or two. So stick around. I mean, really good video coming up. Um, first one, Stan Getz in concert. This is on the Pickwick label. This is like mint condition. Beautiful copy of this. Really I like Stan Getz a lot, man. Great jazz musician. You know, I never really had much of him until last week I picked up uh, Reflections. And I really enjoyed Reflections a lot. This is on Verb. Now, this is what confuses me about the next record I'm going to show you. Actually, am I going to show it to you? Yeah, it's over here. i got to go grab it. But uh, first first was this one, Stan Getz in Concert. Then, then I seen this one, so I grabbed this one. Hold on. Give me a second. So then I seen this one, Stan Getz, with guest artist Leonardo um, Alameda, or Almeida, Alameda. Um, this originally came out on London, or not London, Verve, and this is an MGM pressing. I don't understand. MGM Latino series? <clears throat> and it's just on an MGM swirl? I couldn't even find any information about this pressing, so let me know. I mean, this is probably like the shittiest pressing of this record, but it is one of Stan Getz, I think, from what I've heard, one of his best records, so 
Um, next one, switching to like hip hop, uh, going from jazz to hip hop. But this is cool. Um, hey yo yo, so what's the scenario? You know, with fucking Busta Rhymes, obviously Tribe Called Quest. Um, this is a really cool sing 12 inch single to get. Um, still in the shrink, still as a sticker. It's in fucking mint condition. You know, it was only like a buck. Why not? Scenario, 12 inch single, man. Really, really cool. Happy as hell to get this. Um, just really dope. Really dope. Cool to add to my singles collection. I have a, I have a pretty big hip hop singles collection, and that's one I didn't have. Um, next one. This is one I got a bag and tag. This is a, this is a great addition to the reggae collection. Um, Peter Tosh, Wanted, Dread or Alive on um the rolling stones records label which is really fucking cool um yeah rolling stones record it's not it doesn't have the actual rolling stones label though it's emi america but it has the stone it does have the the lips on there and, and the tongue but it's not like the the yellow rolling stones label still really cool and i don't have much reggae like literally real reggae on vinyl i have this this is all i have and I have another record that I'm going to talk about later. But I have Bob Marley and the Wailers, Peter Tosh, um, Captured Live, Bob Marley and the Wailers, and another Peter Tosh. Uh, this is uh, this is that popular one, Legalizing. Uh, that's all I got. That's it. I mean, really, I have like 6,000 records, and I have that many. Then I have some Calypso stuff and some early reggae stuff, but that doesn't really count. I mean, like, it's not really reggae. But let's speaking of reggae, let's let's do this now. Um, I just recently watched this movie. I had the record for a while. Um, I recently purchased this movie, The Harder They Come, with Jimmy Cliff. Rest in peace. Um, this fucking movie is really killer. And if you listen to the record and listen, watch the movie and then listen to the record, get the record and the movie together, whatever you got to do, um, or the soundtrack if you just get it on a CD or something. Watch the movie first, maybe, or you know whatever. But there's a real message behind this movie, um, and it, it really it goes with the music so well, and it's just such an experience. It really is. And the song "Harder They Come" is such a great track. And Jimmy Smith came from, you know, the the fucking mountains of Jamaica, you know, and moved to Kingston, you know, which is like drug capital of of Jamaica, and. Um, you know, he, he became something. You know, he made something out of that poverty, out of that, out of that like, downtrodden, you know, life. And he, he actually did something, you know. And um, it's not the same for everybody that comes from that area, you know, moving down from, you know, the, the mountains into the city. And that's what this movie's about, about a man who moves from the mountains down to the city and wants to become a, a reggae artist. And, and he gets into some trouble and he starts, you know, selling drugs and, and just the life. And, and uh, the music goes with the movie so well. And it, 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 even if you're not, you don't even have to relate it to, to that thing. It, it relates to a lot of things in life. Um, it's a really good life experience movie with great music. And it, it's just a really good, heartfelt, touching, good movie. And um, if you're not, it's not the most easiest to understand everything they say. But you can get into it. Like, it's not that bad. Um, there is subtitles, but, you know, it is in, like, they speak Jamaican, so a lot of it is, is loosely, loose Jamaican talk, which is sometimes hard to understand, but it's definitely worth a watch. And, um, then I have been listening to the shitty copy of Harder They Come, which is, uh, this is the, the vinyl, which is double, or not a double LP, but uh, I was a little, a little confused about this. They have two versions of Harder They Come on here. And there's a song from the movie when he's got uh, the dudes are singing in the studio the first time he goes to the studio. And they're singing, I forget what the name of the song is, but that's not on here, I don't think. I thought that was kind of weird because it's a really good song. But uh, still, really great record. I've been listening to that a lot lately. I'm actually searching for the 45 of that from the, from the, on the Mamba. I think it's Mamba label. Um Double LP, nice gatefold, mint condition, beautiful. Go goes nice with my soundtracks, you know. Fantasia. I mean, who doesn't like fucking Fantasia? I mean, if you don't like Fantasia, I don't know what's wrong with you. Fantasia is a good movie, good video game too. Um, next one, and kind of have been getting. When I first started collecting records, I 
stayed away from Elvis. I stayed away from the Beatles. Um, but I've been kind of getting back into the main groups, Zeppelin and, and the Beatles and these iconic groups, you know. And I've been getting back into collecting them, making sure I have good copies of everything. I want, like, mint condition copies, original presses of, of everything. And you'll see a couple of those show up in this in this video. This is one of them. And it, it's 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 pretty good condition. Um, for the price, it was a real, really good condition. This is G.I. Blues by none other than the man, the king himself, Elvis Presley. Um, really nice. Pretty fucking close to mint. I wouldn't say mint. I'd say like VG plus at times near mint, if that makes any sense. Um, but no, it's it's the vinyl's great shape, and um, it's on RCA, I believe. RCA Victor, like everything Elvis puts out in the beginning of his career. I need to clean this one yet, but it's in really good shape. It really is. It's in great shape, and for the price, I've seen these go for uh, for big money. Um, but I've also seen him go for a little money, but I guess, you know, conditions a lot, and this is in really good shape. Um, so yeah, that was a good find. Um, there's another Elvis record coming up later, which is a really good find, too. But these I haven't got around to cleaning yet. Um, Woody Herman, Light My Fire. This, I believe, is jazz. Um, it looked interesting. I don't know much about it. Pick that up. This is Prague, I believe. Actually, I know it is. Um, Star Castle. Prog music it was in really good shape. I see it in my shop a lot, um, but I never really. It looks kind of hokey in a way. This one is a pretty good one. Cool in the gang, open sesame. I don't see this a lot. Um, really don't see this record a lot at all. Really cool gatefold there. Um, there's some really good tracks on it, and the thing is like near mint vinyl. I mean, it is fucking beautiful. On D light, it, it's a really good shape. Got to clean it up a little bit, re sleeve it, but it's really nice. Um, I think this is jazz, right? Some jazz stuff here. This is uh, the Duke. George Duke, Don't Let Go. Pick that up. Pretty cool pickup. Nice mint condition. Um, I don't have much Lou Reed. Um, I know this probably isn't one of his best records, but this is uh, Mistral, Mistral by Lou Reed. Pretty good condition on that. Um, next one, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Stars and Stripes Forever. I have another one of their records, um, an older one. This is a 70s double LP. The vinyl's in perfect shape, so I picked it up. It's on United Artists. Let's see if I can pull one out really quick. Beautiful, beautiful vinyl. You know, the sleeve's like a VG. But the vinyl's like near me, so. Um, always pick up the Calypso stuff. The Talbert Brothers and Bermuda. I really love these. I love these um, these pictures on the sleeves. So I always pick them up. Um, just, I just love this. I have a lot of these. I have tons. I collect these, so. Okay, now getting to... Oh, wait. Now I got some more shit to show. Some more kind of crap. I mean, you got to get to the crap to get to the good stuff. I'm sorry, guys. It's just the way it is. I want to, you know, I want to show you everything I got and not just half-ass this video. It's going to be a long one, so you're going to have to wait around to the end. Okay, so we got another Sam Getz re or a Stan Getz record. This one's on a Sears pressing. Never seen a Sears pressing actually, to be honest. I know that sounds weird, but Sears, Sears, like fucking Sears, like buy shoes and, and slacks, Sears. You know, Sears like Craftsman. Okay, so there's that. Um, this one, pretty good record here. Stanley Clark School Days. I think I sh seen Dead Wax show this, so I picked that up to, to give that a listen. Um, the Who, or the Guess Who, Road Food. This is one I never had. Probably not one of their greatest records, but it was in a bundle. This all came from a bundle of stuff. Um, Star Wars, Zubian. Me conduct something Star Wars and Close Encounters of the Third Kind um, I kind of collect stuff like this so it's nice to add to my collection of Star Wars and Close Encounters stuff it's in main condition so that was cool 
Um, this is another jazz record that's probably not that great, but I like the cover a lot. Uh, Voyager or Voyeur, Dave Sanborn. I think um, Dead Wax would probably know about this. I think he probably have, has listened to this. Dead Wax likes that type of stuff. Um, same thing with Chick. I don't know. I don't know his thoughts on Chick Corea, but I know he listens to Chick Corea. Um, Mad Hatter, Chick Corea, Mint Condition. Uh, this is whatever. The Friends of Distinction album, whatever. Um, some quadraphonic stuff. Too bad there wasn't better quadraphonic, but this is switched on Bach. I already have that album, but quadraphonic, mint condition. It's still in strength. Figured why not. Um, another quadraphonic. This is a uh, Bernstein New York Philharmonic. Quadraphonic. I, I had no quadraphonic records, so I wanted to get one or two in the collection. I never, I never had one, so. Um, this one I've seen before. I actually think I've owned this before. Foul Play by the Baja Maramba Band. Just, all, I really like this cover. I know it's not like valuable. It's probably not that great, but I really like the record and the way it looks. So, okay. So now on to like the real shit. All right. Um, so sorry you had to sit through that. That was all kind of bottom of the barrel stuff, besides the Elvis and a couple other things. All right. Well, actually, this is still still kind of hokey stuff, but this is this is really cool. I think the Rockefellers, the Rocky Fellers, okay, and Killer Joe. Look at these guys. You cannot turn down a cover like that. I'm sorry. I don't care where you're from, what music you're into. You don't turn down covers like this, okay? You just don't. Look at how cool and hokey that is. And you know what? I sampled the fucking record at the record store, and it sounded really good. It sounded like a garage version of, like, not garage, but, like, yeah, I mean, a little bit more rock rock and roll sounding like um, the Jackson 5. Like, really. It, the kid who sings sounds like Michael Jackson. I mean, in a way, like, has that high-pitched type voice, but really good on the Se Skepter records. Really good. I, honestly, it was good. It was really good. I like this record a lot. Um, really fucking good record, so. That was a good find. We're flipping the fucking, uh, flipping the record here. Um, this one I found at a Goodwill for a dollar. It's a $30 record. Only thing is, is, is the sticker came off, and I had to, uh, color in this, this, it made a, a rip, but, I mean, other than that, everything's with it, all the inserts, it's a gatefold, it's 19, it's from 95, I think, and it's punk, it's down by law, all scratched up, on vinyl, double LP, there's, like, inserts and shit, there's, like, stuff in here, posters or something, I'm not gonna get all into it, but, uh, to find this at a fucking Goodwill, in this good a condition, I mean, really, it is in great condition besides the rip. There's a rip. You fucking see it because of the assholes at Goodwill put stickers on every goddamn record. Because they can't just say, hey, every record's $1.97 or every record's $0.47. Cents. They have to put a fucking sticker on every single record just to make an extra $0.50 cents every now and then because sometimes they'll see something that they think is... is uh, worth more, so they have to put, like, an extra 50 cent, you know, like, a dollar ninety seven instead of 47 cents. Fucking, dude, I'm writing the people at Goodwill. I'm in the process of contacting Goodwill and trying to change that, at least at the stores I go to. Next record, really, really cool record, but it sounds like shit. This is, um, a limited edition, only 200 made. I got number 97 on Cleopatra Records. It's, um, the Stray Cats, Rockabilly, you know, um, rare tracks, and it's, like, live, them just sitting around jamming, there's some really, there is some rare stuff on here that I never heard before, there's a Live at the Roxy 81 and Acoustic Studio Sessions 1990, really good stuff, but it sounds terrible, I gotta clean it again, I might even try the wood glue on this one, I'm not sure if it's, it's in really good shape, it looks mint, it just sounds horrible, it might just be depressing, um, but it's still nice to have. I mean, you can hear it, and it's probably because it's live. Because I only listened to Side A, it was so terrible. I want to listen to Live at the Roxy, maybe that sounds better. It might have just been the recording. 
possibly just the recorded. It might not even be the vinyl. So it's still cool to add to the collection. It's rare. Um, you don't see it a lot, and I love the Stray Cat, so I had to grab it, you know. Next one, um, music by Henry Mancini from the TV series Peter Gunn. Some jazz stuff. Um, really, really good jazz record here on the white label 6i. Peter Gunn. Fuck yeah. Nice addition to the jazz collection. Really nice shape on that one. Here is the Elvis record that I got, the other Elvis record that I got. This is, uh, you know, this is all for, for you, someone 41, because I know you love Elvis, and I do too. I, I grew up with him. Um, this is Loving You. 19, I believe, 57, original press. Almost, I mean, really close to near mint. Um, it's it's very good shape here. Really good shape on these, these Elvis records I got. Um, on the... Black RCA label, RCA Victor with a dog. Really nice. Really happy to, man, start getting some Elvis, some new Elvis stuff. Um, you know, I have the stuff I grew up with. I still have the same records I grew up with, but I haven't bought any new Elvis. It feels good to buy new Elvis records, ones that I never heard before and, and listen to them. Like, I never heard G.I. Blues. i would seen the movie, I think, but i never seen, actually heard the album, so... Um, this one was a really good find on, um, for like a buck or 50 cents or something. I, it, or it came in a collection. I forget. I don't know. But it was really good. This is a good one. Um, Bernie Maupin. Maupin. If I'm pronouncing that right, I might not be. Um, the Jewel. The Jewel in the Lotus on ECM. Fuck yeah. This was a gem. This was definitely the Jewel in, in the collection. Um, this was, this is a killer ass record. And... On ECM at, at that, if you've ever heard this, this is really good. Um, I, you know, just really happy to have found this. Really, really happy. Nice addition. Definitely a nice addition to the collection. And for a buck, I mean, you can't fucking beat that shit. Next one on recommendation from Raul. Um, Goat, world music. This is a really good um, modern psych record. Um, if you listen to Anthony Fantano's Dumbass, he'll tell you otherwise. You know, it's not great, alright? I'm not going to sit here and tell you this thing is, like, amazing. It's going to blow your fucking socks off. But it's not bad either. Um, it's a good listen. I listen to it about four times now. It's chill to have on. It's not, like, terrible. Um, go, world music. Go pick it up. It's not bad. Um, they're going to be at the Austin Psych Fest, so... Um, I picked up another Judas Priest record. It's funny because this is one I, I never had. I never had this. Um, I have other Judas Priest. I have a, an array of his stuff on cassette, some CD, a lot of vinyl. Um, actually, a lot of cassettes too. Tons of JP cassettes. But anyway, I never had this on vinyl. Um, Unleashed in the East. Judas Priest. Fuck yeah. This is a great record. Love it. One of, I think, one of, not his best, personally, what's my favorite Judas Priest record? Um, now I can't even think of the fucking name of it. I have a favorite Judas Priest record, I just can't think of the fucking name. Uh, oh, the angel, some angel, you know what I'm talking about with the angel on the front? You know what I'm talking about. That's like my favorite Ju Judas Priest record, I can't think of the name of it right now. The one with the angel and shit on the front, that shit is amazing. I actually have to get another copy of that. Because I recently sold my copy. Um, so I need to get... And my copy was... It had it was beat down here. And it, 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 it... I mean, I sold it for a good price. I got good money for it, to be honest. But I want to buy... I need to find a near mint copy of that. An original and buy it. Um, it's something I need to find now. Really happy to have discovered this band. And um, it's cool because in, later in their career... They started off Doom Metal... And later in their career, they go into, like, a psychedelic doom, um, I've heard. And a lot of their er later records really start looking really good. But this is one of their earlier records, like, maybe their third or fourth, I think. Um, the band is called Trouble. The Skull is the record. And it's on Metal Blade Records, which is always a good sign. This is an original press on Metal Blade. First, first press. Um, if you're a metal fan and you've never heard Trouble... You better fucking go get yourself some of this. This fucking record, front to back,
had my ears ringing like I was at a motherfucking concert. I had the earphones on and blasted it, and this thing had me jamming out. This record is killer. If I can recommend anything out of this entire video, this band is the band. I'm telling you right now. I wish I would have known about these guys 10 years ago. I wish I could tell everybody and their mom screaming to the mountaintops about how great this band is. This band is amazing. And the fact that all as I've ever heard from them is this one record, and that they have a slew of records out, although they're hard to find and they're a little expensive, it's my mission now to find all of them. I am so excited about finding this band. Really, really good metal. metal. Really good, really good metal. And uh, like I said, they go into like a psychedelic doomy metal later on in their career, which is even cooler because I'm big time into psych. And psych doom stuff is just awesome. So I'm really looking forward to hearing it. I'm not going to go and spoil it on YouTube. I'm going to actually find these records because I think it's worth it. I think it's worth finding the record and sitting down with it and actually listening to it the way it's meant to be heard. Next one, some 80s hair metal. One that I didn't have. L.A. Gun, self-titled. Had to get me some L. I mean, this is one I didn't have. I have like two, I think two other LA Guns records that I absolutely love. I don't have this one. I think I have it on cassette, but had to have the vinyl. Mint condition, in the shrink. You know, it's the fucking guns, man. I love the guns. Um, next one, this is kind of like a proggy psych. I don't know, not prog, maybe not. Like psychedelic, folky type stuff. Um,. Man, I, listen, I got this so long ago. I, I listened to it once, and I don't really remember much about it. Yours Forevermore Forevermore is the name of the... There's the band, like, in those pictures. Um, this is actually a really good record, though, um, recalling what I've heard from it. There's a, there's a song called uh, Good To Me on the end of side one um, that's really good. That's I know I can definitely remember that. That was a really good track. Really love the gatefold. Um, if you're into psych music and stuff, obviously a lot of this stuff is really good that I'm going to be showing in that genre. Um, some of it, I listen to most of this stuff, but I don't, I can't remember the whole album. I just know I love that song. I remember loving that song. Um, I do this from time to time. I'll go to a shop with a hundred bucks or sixty bucks or seventy bucks. And I'll look around and not really find nothing. So I'll say, okay, well, I know they have good Beatles stuff behind the counter or good Elvis stuff behind the counter and good, you know, Zeppelin stuff or something. You know, maybe a $100 record, 40 50 And I'll say, you know, maybe I'll get one record with this money instead of getting tons of records, you know, just to fill out a spot in my collection. Well, this is a spot that I've been wanting to fill for a while. It's nothing special. You guys all know this record. But um, I had a copy of this that was really beat. I got rid of it. I, I found one at a yard sale that was so beat that I... Oh, yeah. I found one at a yard sale that had the wrong record in it. And I kept the, the case just to have. But never actually owned a copy of this record. But I finally do. And I paid... It's an original. It has all the inserts and it's in mint condition. Well, the, the vinyl's in about mint condition. The Well... I'd say like near me. It's like maybe VG plus near me. I don't know. I'd say like a VG plus strong, strong VG plus plus plus. Um, I paid under fifty dollars for it. Okay, it was only like thirty something. I think thirty five maybe, which I think is a good price for an original pressing of this. And you know you're getting everything. So, I had to. I mean, you know, this is a classic record. It's one of my favorite Beatles records. I didn't have it, and I needed to fill the slot. And I wanted to fill the slot with something worthy, you know, something in good condition. And it is. It's in great condition. Um, you know, it has all the inserts in it. It's uh, in really good shape. It plays great. And uh, it's kind of like my rubber sole. My rubber sole, I only paid... Um, I paid $40 for it because it's an original mono press, you know, and sometimes I do that, you know, um, I think there's other stuff too, but I'm not going to pull it all out, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm a, I'm a Beatles fan, you know, at heart, 
You know, I think they are a little overrated at times, but I'm still a fan of music, and you can't deny what the Beatles were, you know? And that's what it comes down to. You just really can't deny what they were, what they meant to people, you know? The um, history behind this band is more than the music of the band, to be honest. Um, just what the band is and what they've done for music is, is more or less what I like about the Beatles. Um, and it's, you know, they had no control over that, really. They just, it just happened. Um, anyway, uh, I have this, this band's second record, um, so I had to get their first record. I haven't been looking for it or anything. It's just popped up. It was kind of cheap, so I got it. Um, Funk Soul, Westbound Number 9, Flaming Ember. Picked that up. I have their second album, which is actually harder to find than this one, but I figured seal out the collection. I think they only made two records, so... Pick that one up, funk soul type stuff. A little, you know, psychedelic away in a way, I guess you could say, say a little bit, maybe. More funky soul. Funk soul. This record's fucking amazing. Go run out and tell your friends. Go pick it up. Grab it if you can find it. Um, This is Bootleg Him by Alex Corner. Um, great, great blues guitarist. Um, this thing is just fucking killer. It's a double LP. It's got Robert Plant on it. It's got other greats on it. It's like two double LP outtakes and and rare stuff and hard to find shit. If you're if you're a blues rock fan, get this record. It's it's it is it's killer. Um, it's not super cheap when you find it. This wasn't super duper cheap, but it wasn't expensive. It's got ring wear. The vinyl's in great shape. I can listen to the music. It's a great record. It really is nice to add to the blues collection. If you're a prog fan. This is a great prog record. In hearing of Atomic Rooster, um, Atomic Rooster is one of I I love Atomic Rooster. I really do. And this album proved to me. This is on Elektra, um, Gatefold. This thing is near mint. It's beautiful. Um, just a fucking killer copy. Really, really nice to add this to the collection. I wish it's on the Butterfly uh, Elektra label. I really wish though that I could find some of their earlier stuff. This is like, I think, their third or fourth record. I'd really like to get some of their earlier stuff. I've heard that stuff's a lot better. This is still good, though. Still a good pickup for, for the Prog collection. Really nice stuff there. Um, next one, good psych record, um, Earth Opera. I've seen people show this a lot. I never actually heard this record, although I've seen it from time to time. I figured, you know, now's the perfect time to pick it up. It was at a good price. Um, this is on, um, uh, this is on Electra too. Yeah, this is on Electra as well. And this is a gatefold, I think. Yeah, it's got a cool picture here in the gatefold. I'll show you. Really nice. Gatefold. Love that psych stuff, man. Really great. Great psych record to pick up. Cool, cool find. Alright, next on the list, we got another great psych record. Little bluesy, um, more more rock and roll bluesy than it is psych, but there is psych. I mean, and it is, it is classified as psych. Um, this is the band Time with their album Smoothball. This is fucking killer, and this band's killer. Um, if you can find some shit by them, pick it up. If you're a psych fan, even if you're like a little blues, kind of like blues psych stuff, Rock and roll, 70s psych stuff. I mean, it's, you know, it's good shit. I mean, it's on Liberty. Um, I have to remember, but Lazy Day Blues, um, Trust in Man Everywhere, I'll Write a Song. Some of these tracks on this are really good. Um, I recommend it to any fan of psych, psych and uh, 70s rock. Definitely a good, 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 good record. <sighs> One I definitely recommend. Actually, I mean, most of the stuff I got, um, I did pretty good. I mean, I think a lot of the stuff I got, I'm really enjoying. Next one's a Psych Soul, or Soul, what am I talking about? Folk. Um, folk Psych, Two Girl Band. Um, excuse me, Jan and Laureen. <sighs> Gypsy People. This is not easy to find, guys, but if you can find it, and you're into folk music and you like psych, this is where it's at. 
This is on ABC, um, gatefold. Really love it. I, I definitely do. I mean, if you're into like, you know, you like women folk folk stuff, you'll like this. You definitely will like it. It's uh, got some fuzz guitar in there. Some, I think there's uh, some harpsichord and shit. Um, definitely musically good as well as lyrically good. Um, if you're a fan of psych and you're a fan of folk, um, it's definitely something that I would pick up. And if you love, if you like woman so folk, um, this is another one that you know that I think would be a uh, on your list. Definitely a good good pickup. Jen and Laureen, Gypsy People. Uh, next one, my first um, soft, soft Machine record. This is, I think this is a, a comp, but an early comp um, by Soft Machine. This is a double LP. Obviously, killer, psychedelia. Um, soft Machine's a great band. I never owned anything on vinyl by them, so I'm kind of really happy to have gotten something. This is on Command. Um, mint condition, man. I'm telling you, the vinyl's beautiful. Uh, I think... No, it's not a gatefold. Just a just a one-sleeve thing. But uh, really cool. Let's see if it has a back picture. Really nothing special. But it's, it's filled with... I mean, filled. It's like got close to 30-some songs on it, so... I haven't actually listened to that yet, but that that's... I'm getting around to that one. Um, next one, this is one I've been looking for for a while. Um, I kind of started collecting that Golden Archive MGM series. Um, Mothers of Invention have one. The Gentries, Count Basie, a bunch of people. But I've always wanted to find this one. And uh, this is the one that really has been hard to find and, and I couldn't find anywhere. Um, the Velvet Underground. Golden Archive series, MGM. Um, just kind of couldn't believe when I seen it, and in really good, I mean, the vinyl's like mint. I mean, the sleeve is what the sleeve is, you know, it's got a little ring wear, whatever, but the vinyl's fucking mint, and, uh, you know, now I have a good little collection going, and that's probably one of the hardest ones to find, so. I finally got a copy of this, this is kind of a grail for me, I've been waiting and looking for an okay copy and an okay price. And I finally found one, a stereo press. First pressing, though, of Magic Bus, The Who. Um, little slot filler. Uh, been wanting this one for a while. Love this cover. I do want a mono. I did want a mono, but I figured I'd, fit, you know, settle for the stereo press. Whatever. No big fucking deal. I love the back picture on this. So cool. So, cool to have that. Nice to get that in the collection. Next one, another grail, another one that I've been waiting and looking for for fucking ever. Um, this is big time grail. Um, it's not the original, although I still am looking and probably going to get the original one day. But for now, it's 1984 Polydor repress of none other than... We're going to drop something. We're going to needle drop something. Um, none other than Electric Ladyland by the Jimi Hendrix Experience. And this is the beautiful cover. This is the the rare cover, although it's been reissued and repressed a million times. Um, this is, like I said, the 1984 Polydor reissue, but still goes for $50, 60 to $100. Um, the record still holds value, even though it's a repress. Um, this is not easy to find. I mean, it's really not. Um, love this girl. Uh, this girl right here is my favorite. If you're wondering which one's my favorite, yes, it's this one right here. Um, out of all of them. I literally have sat and looked at this. And she's the best looking one. I mean, she really is. Um, yeah, so good good record. And I mean, I have, I think, besides this copy of Electric Ladyland, I have a couple American presses. I don't... You know what I really want? I want a first pressing UK press of... um of, uh, now why can't I think of the name, Are You Experienced, that's what I really want, I want Are You Experienced, I love that UK cover, I just feel like I'm cheating myself buying a reissue, because I feel like anybody can go buy a fucking reissue, not everybody can find the original, UK, um, I know the UK press on this one is on track records, 
I'm not sure if the Are You Experienced is too. I'm guessing it probably is, but I'm not sure. Um, we're going to be done with this record. I'm going to have to go get the sleeves, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, so we're done with this record. Um, you've been listening to, I think you listened to Side 2 twice. And, uh, yeah, it's not a bad record. I, you know, I've heard it before. I've listened to it. After listening to it just now in the background, though, I'm still going to have to go with Sad Wings of Destiny being my favorite Judas Priest. Um, still the best priest, I think, um, personally. But that's just me. Maybe you guys like something else. Um, next record, and I think we're going to needle drop this just because it's the next record, um, The Hobbits. Oh yeah, Down to Middle Earth. This is on DECA. This is one I've been looking for for a little bit too. I wanted to get the, the original, you know, I, the, the reissues are out there. They're 10, 11 bucks, you know. Um, but I like original pressings of stuff. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's just me. I mean, not everything do I need an original. And this isn't, like, so good that I was like, oh, I had to have an original. It just so happens there was an original there. You know, why not get the original for, for whatever it was? And then, you know, why do I need a fucking reissue? I have so many reissues of Psych Records. And it's almost to the point where I have a whole cube of reissues of Psych Records. I'm actually going to do a video showing my reissues. Because I have so fucking many. And it's just ridiculous. I can, I, you know, a lot of those, what I... What, I'm, what my new rule is, is if it's possible to get an original, get the original. If it's one of those ones that's literally impossible, that doesn't even exist anymore, like it's impossible to find, like maybe, uh, um, for instance, like this one. This one, you're not going to find an original of. The Only Truth by Maury Gray. This is like not, you're not going to find this. So to get the, the reissue makes sense. But a record like this, this Hobbit's record, it's not impossible to get an original of this. So why not get the original? Okay, so this is Psychedelic Music. It's going on now. We're going to finish up the last... This is pretty good. This is actually pretty fucking good. I had never heard it before I got the record. Next one, A Grail. This is another Grail. Um, you're going to laugh about it. You're going to say, why? Crate, is that a grail? Well, it's a fucking grail because this goddamn record is impossible to find. I've found collection after collection of this guy's work and never see this record within within the collection. And it's none other than Billy Joel Stormfront. Oh yeah. Fucking We Didn't Start to Fire, Down Easter Alexa, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. I go to extremes. I mean, this this record is killer. Came out in '89, and that's why you can't find it on vinyl really easy, like other Billy Joel records. Other Billy Joel records, Glass House, whatever, really easy to find. I have them all, but this is one that I just never see. And um, because when it sold, it sold thousands of copies, millions of copies on cassette and CD. No one bought the vinyl. That's why it's so hard to find. Not a lot were pressed. Um, but it's out there, near mint, if not mint, I'm in great shape, found it, and for cheap too, it's not like it's expensive, it's just something that's hard to find. Um, next one, this was a kind of blind buy, the heads of the family, this is probably going to go up for sale, um, they sing like CCR, re, uh, you know, it says, here come the daddies, the papas, the heads of the family, singing and playing the hit sounds of today. Wind up grant your gramophone, turn on the horn towards the action, and let's dance. Let's listen. It sounds... The sounds that you asked for. This guy looks like my fucking dad, which is really fucking weird. He looks just like my dad did when he was younger. Um, and this guy right here looks like uh, some Indian 
fucking dude that should be in, like, one of those Indian outfits, which I think he even does wear shit like that. Yeah, he does. So he's... He, he, weird character, and then you just got, like... These guys are odd. I mean, I think they're a part of some band. I think possibly, like, the Mamas and the Papas? I don't know who the fuck are these guys are. The heads of the family is who they are. I've never really heard of them, and I, I think I have... But being on this record, I'm kind of confused who they are, because it's really not that great, but it's okay. I listened to it while I was folding laundry one night. It was all, it was alright. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it was a blind buy, and it wasn't like, oh my god, this is so great, you know? Two Rotary Connection records that I already had this one. Really great record. I did not have Aladdin. Um, this is really fucking good. So if you've never heard Aladdin by Rotary Connection, pick that up. It's a really good one. I think it's an underrated one, to be honest, because I always hear about... I think this is the one, because this has, like, a sample of, uh... What does this have? It has a sample of something on here. I forget what's on here. I know it's a sample from something. Some rap song or something. I can't... Off the top of my head, I can't remember um, great garage rock here on original sound label, The Music Machine, featuring Talk Talk. 90, they do 96 Tears, they do CC Rider, they do Hey Joe. They do, um, it's like basically half covers and half um, um, originals. It's really good. I mean, if you're into garage, man, Music Machine is the shit. I dig them. Good 60s garage stuff, man. Next one is one band that I just can't get into. I'm not going to lie. Um, XIT or Exit, um, Plight of the Red Man. Um, not like I don't, I'm not interested in Native Americans, and I don't respect that. I do. I do respect the whole thing, but I just don't want to listen to a record about it and then listen to another record. I picked up their second record and gave it a little listen to see if it was any different, and it's just the same thing. It's like... I don't know. It's just a, not that interesting to me. I'm probably going to get rid of it. It's a, it's a radio station copy. It was a pro, promo radio station copy. Um, but, you know, I think someone else would enjoy it. Personally, it's psych that I'm just not into. Now, this is psych that I'm into. Fields. Not an easy record to find, but this is, this is really good. Um, really nice. Gatefold. This is on... Uni and usually Uni Records is is pretty good stuff. There's the gatefold. I love the back. It says, "Naked birds go flying through the warmth of the sun. On my back, I'm lying in the warmth of the sun. Through the hills we ramble. Our souls, I feel, are free. Nighttime comes. It's a gamble. Life's a flowing dream. Heat vibrations start to rise from the soul within." Talk about life, talk about death, talk about life and its sin. But I don't mind, I just bide my time. And then it's that cool-ass picture. So I really like this, and it's a great record, great psych record. If you can find it, pick it up. Definitely worth worth your time and worth your money if you can find it. Um, it's not an easy one to find, and, and it's not always super cheap either. Um, depends on condition and stuff, but really nice to add to the psych collection. Next one, I forgot to show this last time. Um, Memphis Vinyl Gem and the Misses actually sent this to me. This is, I didn't get to listen to it yet. I'm sorry, guys, but this is Raiders. Um, this is another psych record. I'm not even sure what it sounds like exactly. Maybe some of you guys could let me know in the comment section. Tell me if you think that's any good. Uh, I am going to be getting around to spinning it soon. This one I did spin, and this is an amazing record. Um, Shaky Vic on Janice Records. This is a promo copy. The Woman You're So Sweet. Little Woman You're So Sweet. Um, blues. Oh, yeah. This is good. Live. Blues rock. Um, Shaky Vic, if you've never heard of them, try to find this record. Um, little Psychedelia, Psychedelic Blues. Really nice. Uh, white Label, Janice promo. Mint Condition. Beautiful copy. Very, very cool record. Nice to add to the Psych, psych slash Blues collection. Really, really good. And this is I Like That Fidels. I like this song. Every time, every time she 
the Hobbits. Last but not least, guys, um, to add to my soundtracks collection, and my soundtracks collection, I really like sci-fi movies, and I like, you know, horror movies and comedy. Um, for the most part, I collect horror soundtracks. I try to. Um, I do end up with other soundtracks like Fantasia and things like that, but um, I try to collect a lot of horror stuff. This is one it's kind of a grail for my horror collection, and that's Halloween 2. Um, mint condition, still in the shrink, original press. Fucking awesome, man. Finally got me a copy of that. Really, really happy and excited to have this and add it to my soundtracks collection. I'm going to actually have to start a box for just horror soundtracks. That's how many I'm starting to get. I had, I had a box of just soundtracks, but now it's turning where I'm starting to get really filled up in there. Um, so, yeah. Really nice. And now I got a couple Disney, too, which I have to, uh, I don't know, start making genre boxes. Like Disney and horror and sci-fi. So That's it, guys, man. I know it's a long video. I hope you stuck around to the end. Um... I'm going to leave some links down here. So after the video, go down to the links, open up some, some uh, tabs, and go to all the links, follow, like, and subscribe to whoever I suggest down there. I'm going to leave some links down there. Um, I don't know. Check them out. I know I'm going to leave some, a lot of stuff down there, a lot of information. My Tumblr blog about my record blog, I'm going to leave. Facebook Vinyl Community, if you're not familiar with the Facebook Vinyl Community, go check them out. I'm going to leave my Facebook. I'm going to leave a couple other things. So just check everything out. And I'll see you guys on the flip, man. I don't know when. Maybe next week. Maybe two weeks. Who fucking knows. But I will see you. Um, yeah. Stay strong, man. VC. Keep fucking digging, man. Keep fucking digging. All right, y'all. Peace. It's good. 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 I don't know where I put the, um... This is good. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, forgot to show these. So I'm just gonna get through them really quick. Robert Plant. Um, tall, cool one. Off the Now and Zen record. Bunch of 45s that I forgot to show, and I kind of wanted to show these. Hysteria by Def Leppard. Sleeve 45s. Cheech and Chong, born in East L.A. This was an awesome one to get. Really happy to get that one. Um, Paul McCartney, No More Lonely Nights. They used to cut them down here. don't know why, but that one's cut. There's one more that's cut. Uh, Twisted Sister... We're not going to take it, and uh, this is this is definitely a very common one. I have like three or four of those. Um, Van Halen, 1984, Panama. Pretty cool Halen ones. Uh, Madonna, Crazy for You, off of the soundtrack for Vision Quest, I believe. Right? Vision Quest, yeah. Um, Tina Turner. Madman, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Mad fucking Max Beyond Thunderdome. This is the other one that's cut. It's the only other other one that's cut like that. Two men enter, one man leave. Pretty cool. Frank Zappa and Moon Zappa, Valley Girl. Um, Prince, let's go crazy. Really cool to get some of these in the collection. They're all kind of common, but it's nice to get them in the collection. I didn't have these. Pour Some Sugar on Me, Def Leppard. Didn't have that one. Um, Van Halen, this is black and blue. And I think my favorite one out of out of all these, um, definitely, is Van Halen's Hot for Teacher. So, that was pretty fucking cool. Hot for Teacher. And then, last but not least, uh, Reed... Listen, Learn, Folk Country Western Pop Rhythm Guitar. This is from 1957, um, or 59, and it's mint. Mint condition, Sears record that used to come along with guitars and stuff, just to kind of teach you a rhythm guitar, so I thought that was pretty cool.
Hey yo, I flip it like Leatherface Sipping blood on a dark staircase Forever and a day and never hesitate Never done wicked as I come Axe rags tied and twisted around the barrel of my Tommy guns I give a fuck when in the speak On anybody tripping on me Wolf and weak or bringing beef peep I got the mind up a creep I'll leave a hottie's body chopped up In a mess of her mommy's bed sheets uh, It's all too much for me to cope with Picked a bag of weed out the toilet and smoked it I call it dope shit, I'm hopeless My life's so tangled It's like I strangled my soul in a smoke Rising up from a roach clip I body tracks like them east coast cats Make beats with the sound of my nuts Slapping your lady's ass crack And in the midst of my dick sliding and slipping I throw up the fucking dub Forever keeping it west side Whoa, You ain't never gonna move me Cause I ain't never moving, no I stay with you You ain't never gonna move me Cause I ain't never moving, no I stay with you I never am playing on shit like two I stay with you I beg you to pray to Jesus Christ Why? I stay with you Wicked Wicked I stay with you Wicked name in my fucking brain's not saying I Make it rain on any punk bitch in the game, why? why? I stay wicked through the bad times and the good Should we make it seem all good or fuck up the neighborhood, ah? Somehow I drag it through the U.S. highways And blaze the ooey until we pass out in the days yeah. Bitch ass haters like a Sith Lord in my dome Telling me to bring it on home and make these fucks die alone So call me Bones Dub Cause I'm a skeleton G who got the weed and the AXC See? Don't fuck with me Deep in the cemetery, raising the dead And it's the one that people want my head, it's all and if you want a deep line, just to keep in mind I'll fuck you up with the mic until you hit the flat line Ooh, keep it a wicked coming with raw shit, raw shit Get your head cracked in a mosh pit, I gotta stay with you You ain't never gonna move me, cause I ain't never moving, no I stay wicked You ain't never gonna move me, cause I ain't never moving, no Never gonna move me cause I ain't never moving, no